Yes, yes, Eddie J here. I hope everyone's great. As promised, we're going to learn about the Sigma symbol along with some of its friends. I realize math can be scary. Uh, we're not trying to create mathematicians here though. Only trying to get comfortable seeing these symbols, right? In machine learning, I've found it's useful to let go of the fear. In some cases, I'm reading around complex math problems that I don't yet understand. This is alright. Uh, as there are a ton of high-level opportunities, um, collecting data, automation, parameter optimization, and of course supervised learning. For the curious minds, I wanted to introduce the Sigma symbol as it can be used uh, to express iterative processes like neural networks, loops, and matrices. This is the capital Sigma symbol. In mathematics, it means summation or adding things together. If we take the number below the sigma, the index, and we divide it by the number above it, this will tell us how many iterations we need or how many things to add together. Let's run through some examples to visualize how it works. All right, so we have our sigma. We're gonna put a one for our index. Um, you'll see, you can use any variable of course, but uh, either i or n is common. Uh, up here we'll use a 5. To the right of the sigma symbol is the, the actual um, the mathematical problem that we want to iterate through. So in this case we can just use n, which means we are going to use the index and we're going to uh, iterate 5 times. So basically this problem looks like this. So first one we have a 1 and then we add it to uh, the index of 2. So this gives us 3 and then we have 3 for the index. We add this to our 3 we have 6 and so on and so on. So let's try something a little more complex. Let's do our index to the power of 2. Um, so we're just squaring this. And this will look like this. So much of the same. Um, of course we can put anything in here. Um, say we want to do, this is called summation, but we could do subtraction as well. We could do n uh, times negative 1. And what this will look like is basically the same thing but we end up with a negative number because we're subtracting instead of adding or we're just adding negative numbers to get subtraction um, and you can you can of course do really anything you could do times 4 and this gives us 60 um, something like 16 um, you could even do more complex problems so let's jump into that now We can also use the index to reference a position in a number set. So say we have three numbers like we do on the screen here. Um, so our total up here is going to be oops, three. And our index is just going to be one still. And then here we're going to have D because we want to reference our data set. And then we're going to use our index to iterate through the data set. So we could essentially add these three numbers up um, and this would, oops, and this would equal 27. Other than the example we just ran through, one of the simplest applications of the sigma symbol is a standard deviation, which is used in many fields. What standard deviation gives us is a way to quantify the amount of variation or dispersion of a set of data values. In previous videos, uh, you may have seen standard deviation used to express confidence while testing the outcomes of model training. This is the standard deviation formula. 
It can also be represented by a lowercase sigma symbol. This other Greek character is called mu, and in our case it means simple average or the mean. To calculate standard deviation, there are four steps. The first already mentioned, which is mean or average. Second is to subtract the mean uh, and square that result. Third, we calculate the mean of the squared differences. We use the sigma to sum our values and we divide by the n, our number of values. Lastly, we take the square root of that. I know this is may look uh, like it's too difficult to do, but we can run through it and it's actually quite easy. Alright, so I've written the steps down so we can run through them without uh, needing to look directly at the formula. And I also have a number set here that we can feed into our um, formula. So step one, average all the numbers. Do this by adding them together. And then we divide that by the total number um, of values in our data set. In this case, we have five. So for us, this means our value is 12. Uh, next step, for each number, subtract. What is subtract? Subtract. Subtract the mean and square. So we've got 21, subtract 12. This is 9 times 9, we're squaring 81. We're going to create our new uh, number set. 7 minus 12, negative 5 times negative 5, it's going to be 25. We've got three of these. Oops. 18 minus 12, 6 squared is 36. And that is our new number set. Next step, calculate overall mean by adding using sigma sum and dividing by n. So all we have to do is add our five numbers and divide by five again. Divide by five. 38.4 and finally our last step uh, we just dump this into square root and our standard deviation is roughly 16.19 oh I said 16 I, I mean 6 so that's it we learned how to interpret the sigma notation and consequently we learned about standard deviation and mean through the mu symbol. Remember to sub for more mad scientist videos. Thanks for watching.